so a weird thing happened to me over the weekend. Um, it happened at a Hank and John live show. Uh, weird things keep seeming to happen to me when I go to uh, to live shows of the Green Brothers. So they had uh, a live show of their podcast, Dear Hank and John. Uh, it was only like two stops. There was one in Madison and uh, and one in Minneapolis. Um, so Savannah and I went to it. It was on uh, it was on Sunday, and the podcast Delete This was opening the show. Um, Delete This is uh, Hank's show with his wife Catherine, where they like usually what they do is they. Uh, Take a look at, at Hank's like Twitter profile and and critique the uh, the things that he posted over the last week. Um, but they decided to try out a new thing for this particular live show because hey, it's live. There's a visual element to it, so they d- decided to do a segment called uh, Earth Bones, where uh, they zoom around on uh, Google Earth and like take a look at the geography of the area and kind of you know critique it um now i share my location with hank on google maps um more on that in a minute uh so my face popped up like in the middle of the country as soon as as soon as he put uh google earth up there on the screen and uh and savannah and i you know pointed at that and we're giggling to each other because like oh look there's my face and everything um and uh, and then you know of course Hank started zooming in on Minnesota because like being that they were at a show in Minnesota they wanted to kind of you know critique our our local geography and uh, well let's listen to some of the audio from from that actual show uh, to kind of hear what happened. Let's find our friend. Our friend? Yeah. Well, here we are. Let's we'll zoom in here to here's your town. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And uh, so, so if you zoom out here, you'll see that uh, a number of people have shared their location with me on Google Maps. I don't know why they've done this, but I have a public email address, and so they did. <laughs> I don't know any of these people, except for a couple of them who I've met on tour. Um, now and we so, can keep track of them. Yeah, let's see where this guy is. As long as they're not in Missoula, I don't care. Is, are you, is that the Pantages? Wow. 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 We were wondering. We talked about you in Madison, too, so it's always here. (laughs) That's fucking wild. (laughs) John was worried you were going to be at your house and then we were going to give away your address. No, uh, but you're just in the room. What a fool. Ian, Ian, hi. Are are you here? Hi, how's it going? (laughs) He's like... It's like, not only am I going to say yes, but I'm going to say it in Minneapolis. We've already gone off the rails. Let's get back to the earth bones. Uh, I don't know. Can we? I don't know. Can we move beyond the fact that we're just staring at the location? Can you run around the theater some so we can just see you move? (laughs) Don't actually do that. Don't do it. That sounds dangerous. That's dangerous. So that was really wild. Um... And uh, and then, you know, as the show went on and after the show, I was uh, interacting with other people on Twitter who had also gone to the shows, both the Minneapolis and the Madison shows. And, uh, and you know, a lot of people were like, oh, my gosh, you're location sharing, Ian. Um, but it wasn't just people who were at the Minneapolis show who were saying that. It was also people from the Madison show who were saying this. So apparently uh, I came up at the Madison show as well. And, uh, and, but I didn't really get to find out exactly what happened until they released the audio from, from the live shows. Uh, so here's what happened in Madison. So here is earth. Perhaps you recognize it. And superimposed on the earth are both clouds and all of the people who have shared their location with me via Google maps. Why? I don't know. It's just something that happens when you have a public email address. They just start to... Sh- so here they are. This guy's Ian. Um, he came to my show in St. Paul once, and I said, you're Ian Buck. You're always... He was the first person to ever do this. And so I knew him by sight, and he was like, that's very weird. And I was like... Who's weird? Who's weird, Ian? Who's weird? Where are you? 
You're near Fairview Avenue. <laughs> let's see where. Let's see what Ian's doing. He's not at the show tonight. Does anybody know Ian? Our show on Sunday in Minneapolis <laughs> might show us an Ian. <laughs> oh my gosh! Is He's that just his in house? his backyard. <laughs> This is why you don't do this. Uh, so We're looking I, at Ian's bones. Yeah, looking at Ian's That's bones. That's the podcast. That, this is Welcome what, to Ian's just, bones. Somebody call up Ian and tell him to go somewhere. <laughs> we started out with this podcast. It's going to be like, we're going to look at beautiful features of the Earth's surface. Or Ian. Uh, now, instead of being like a beautiful podcast about nature and all the geology of the Earth, it's a podcast about how upset I am about technology. <laughs> so, yeah, that's even more wild than uh, than what happened at the Minneapolis show. Um, the funny thing about this, uh, and I noticed when they were talking there, they were like, oh, Ian's near Fairview Avenue. And I'm like, well, I mean, it, I don't live near Fairview Avenue, like in the grand scheme of things, I live near Fairview Avenue, but I don't, it doesn't sound like I was at home at the time. So I went back and kind of cross-referenced and figured out like, okay, what time was the show at? It was at 7.30 on a Friday evening, and I looked at like where I had been um, in my Google Maps timeline, and uh, oh yeah, that was when I was recording a podcast episode uh, at the, uh, the Nexus Studios, so I guess I accidentally doxed Ryan's house to a room full of people in Madison, which is really, really funny because like that was totally an accident. I didn't mean to reveal the location of his house, but also I on purposely revealed the location of his house to all of my like computer tech classes every semester uh, because I have them go and uh, and stalk him online uh, as as a as an assignment. So whoops, but I don't feel too bad about it. Now, what, what Hank said to the Madison audience isn't quite accurate. Um, I wasn't the first person who shared my location with him. I didn't come up with the idea. I remember listening to an episode of Dear Hank and John, where John told Hank, like, you know, it's the weirdest thing. Like, somebody's profile picture has just shown up on Google Maps for me, and I don't know why. And Hank was like, oh, it's only one person for you? And he proceeded to tell John that, like, yeah, there are several people who share their locations with him on Google Maps. And, uh, and you know, I was like, wait, why, why didn't I ever think of that? Duh, because I use that feature to, like, share my location with my friends and family all the time. Um, so, yeah, so I started doing that. Uh, I've, I've been sharing my location with Hank for a few years now. Um, so the reason that Hank knew my name at uh, a live show that that I went to last fall in Milwaukee uh, was because I was I was active in the uh, the discord for his novel uh, when it first came out um, so if you want to hear more about that story here's uh, here's some audio from the podcast episode that I recorded last fall uh, of reviewing an absolutely remarkable thing so here's what happened. <laughs> So Mary and I went down to Milwaukee and like I had bought the ticket like really, really early because um, I wanted to be one of the VIPs who get like gets to meet Hank ahead of time and get a picture taken with him and everything. Um, and so, you know, I go to the, the meet and greet and, you know, like have a two sentence interaction with him, take a picture and then leave because like anything other than two sentences, I wouldn't have been able to keep my cool. <laughs> um but I did. I kept my cool. I swear. I was totally chill. It was fine. <laughs> but yeah, so so we got our pictures taken and then like uh and then we went and grabbed some seats in, you know, for the main event, the main yeah. stage event. And uh and we saved a seat for you. So yeah, they won't let me in. Yeah. <laughs> I was a VIP. Because you're not a VIP. Also bought the week ticket like the week before, so not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> um but we had really good seats. Yeah, it was, it was second row. And um and when they were, you know, reading off questions from the audience my question was one of the ones that got picked and so dessa who is of course the, the coolest person in the world um she read my question and then said that question's from ian and i was like woo you woo. know so that they could see where i was um and hank looks at me and he goes is your last name 
buck. And like on the outside, I was like, yeah. But like on the inside, I'm going, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> and, and he was like, have we met before? And I was like, I mean, like an hour ago at the meet and greet. And he was like, no, no, before that, like, are you like active on Twitter? And I was like, yeah, really, pretty <laughs> active on Twitter. And he was like, oh, well, thanks for being active. And then he like looks me dead in the eyes and he goes, I know your family has been going through some, some <laughs> tough stuff right now. And I'm like, what? Like, like, I'm like, I go cold inside. I was like, How? <laughs> he, cause like, like the only thing that I could think of was like, he must be referencing the car accident that my family was in back in December. But like, how would he know? <laughs> And I was like, how, when did he notice me? When, like, because I hadn't been talking on Twitter about the car accident in a yeah. very long time. Um, so I was like, there's no way that he remembered this all the way from back in, like, January or whatever. Um, why would he even be seeing my tweets about that? It wasn't until after the show that I remembered that I had connected, like, a moment in the book with how I felt about the car accident and had posted that in the Discord server for an absolutely remarkable thing, <laughs> which Hank evidently had been, you know, monitoring, had been, you know, reading, yeah, reading. what people were saying, which is totally reasonable, right? Yeah. You know, because uh, that's where, like, the the main fan discussion was happening about the book yeah. in the week after it came out. Um, and, yeah, apparently, like, the, my, my story was, like, notable enough for him to remember it and, and still have that connected with my yeah. last name. I was like, whoa! 